Hello everyone, Mike for Valley One here with some breaking news. In fact, dropped yesterday while I was at the park on my way to the park literally this morning. Yesterday morning. Was I would be getting ready to head out there tomorrow, but oh sorry. Nope. I had to postpone A not only because of the heat, and two, I have a family gathering to take care of tomorrow. Hey, family comes first. Sorry guys. So yeah, Scuderia Alpha Towery, one of the slowest teams on the grid that somehow got points thanks to Yuki Sonoda. Well, ten races into the season. Wait, oh, oh, fast notes, okay. Oh yeah, you can actually get the Brett Williams car, which thankfully I have. It seems that we can't confirm that it was confirmed that Scuderia Alpha Tauri announced that they are letting go Nick DeVries. So yeah, Nick DeVries has been let go after 10 races. And he'll be replaced by Red Bull third driver, Daniel Ricardo. The Honey Badger is back. I mean, this is not the first time this team has been so cutthroat. I mean, the most the most recent example was Pierre Gasly, who was dropped Red Bull to Toro Rosso, only for Pierre Gasly to give that team a podium. And of course, in the 2020 season, he ended up getting... Scoring Alpha Tauri, their first win under the Alpha Tauri name, and the second team name since Red Bull bought the team. And although it's kind of kind of a weird coincidence, the only American that has raced for this team in Scott Speed, he also ran ten races before Red Bull gave him the heave ho for Sebastian Vettel. So it's going to be interesting to see where does Red Bull go from here with Alpha Tauri. In fact, Dr. Marco did say that they're, this team may, this may be the last time we're going to see the Alpha Tauri name in F1. Could we see a return back to Toro Rosso? I don't know. With a more modern look. But at the end of the day, it is great to see Daniel Ricciardo come back to the grid. But at the same time, I kind of feel for Nick. But the big question is, where is he going to go? Of course, there's that photo of him talking to Toto. Will he go back to Mercedes? Considering how much he, they didn't want him. <laughs> or could he do what other F1 rejects have done? Come to come race in North America in, in IndyCar? Or will he, will he do, will he do the hype, the Will he do the the Rex series? I mean, it's not the first time we've seen our F1 reject racing at Le Mans. Ask Italian Jesus how that felt. So, yeah, there you guys go. A lot of news in one stone here. The question is, will... How's Daniel going to do in that car? Because I think there's only... Ricardo going to that seat. That certainly heats up... With Ricardo going to Alpha Towery, this guy is on the hot seat. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens going, what changes are going to happen going forward. So I want to know what you guys think. Is Daniel destined to get that Red Bull seat in 2024? And I think it's almost pretty clear if Ricardo goes. I think it's pretty clear who's getting that second Alpha Towery seat. I think it's pretty clear that's going to Liam Lawson. Let's be real here. Alright guys, that's it from that's here are my thoughts. See you in a little bit.